Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 at Game of Thrones. In the last episode, we took the Torrentine along with some vassals. Uh, we still have some Danes landed. Some of them decided to, to be a cannibal, so we had to sort that out. Uh, and we've sent them to join the Night's Watch, but we still do have Danes alive uh, of Lord Finian. In fact, his parents, his father was... Wait, what's this? High Lordship? Ah, the flag has changed to my flag. Okay, I was a bit confused then. I was like, huh? Is he is he related to House of Vickery somehow? <laughs> but no, he wasn't right. Uh, what are we going to do in this episode? Well, we need to fix the, the control. Yeah, we're doing five years there. We're already helping control and whatnot. Um, I wonder if it might be worth helping the control down in Starfall first. Yeah, let's try and increase the, the control in Starfall. It's going to take 17 months because I know they have a lot of gold here. That's going to help. Your la realm will lose land if Lord Godric of Dawnbrink dies. Oh, dear. Lord Godric. Why? Why are you not... Um, why are you not married? Why do you not have children? You bloody fool. Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to lose a little bit of land down here. But unfortunately, I don't think there's much we can do about that without inflicting tyranny. Also, I've noticed my son is not marrying. And I think it's because he's a warden. Which is incredible incredibly annoying i don't like how the warden thing works with castamere uh, i will say but i don't know if there's an alternative lady elisa has been murdered wife as you drew your last breath relief washed over me perhaps i should be ashamed but in truth there was no love lost between us i thought we were soulmates she died under mysterious circumstances oh bloody hell i must soldier on without her um, Spymaster, I need you to be disrupting schemes now more than ever. Uh, we also need a new wife, but I'm widowed, so I can't actually remarry, which also puts us over our domain limits now. Um, I can declare war on Lord Gregor. Gregor? For my son's claims? <laughs> we have an alliance, son. Well, I'm not going to be pushing your claim. Uh, but what I do need to get rid of probably Rexdale, because it's generating the least. Yeah, this is giving us 0 0.9 at least. Um, but this is only giving us 0.7. So let's go ahead and give that. So I might give it to my son Dagon. I know he's only 13, but he'll be right next to me. Uh, and we can get an alliance to at least uh, look after him. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can also change his contract as well. Ah, we can't change it yet because he, he wants an alliance. Right, let's wait for this. There we go. And then we can change his contract as well. We want to increase the taxes. I want all of the taxes. Hopefully the gold income will survive. Let's see. When it goes over to the end of the month, we'll see how much it drops by. Okay, it hasn't dropped at all. 8.5 is still respectable. Uh, and how much was this? 3,000 now instead of 2.7k. Okay. Lordship of Marshall uh, stuff all gained Marshall guidance for five years. That's going to help popular opinion in the area. As for other wars now. Hmm... Sorry for the lag. It's, it's the Game of Thrones mod. It's definitely not my PC. Um, Lord Stefan's Grand Tournament. Where are you? It's not my PC. I can play like Baldur's Gate 3 maxed out 1440p. Um, I can play pretty much everything maxed out. But a Game of Thrones just has this really terrible stutters whenever you progress so many years. Uh, no other mod has it. Uh, unfortunately, we just got to work with it. It doesn't matter too much. When we're immersed and we're having fun with the roleplay, who cares? My rival died from the gout. Not one day too soon. <laughs> we took his home. Uh, and now he's dead of the gout. It's funny. We have Freys over here. We have Valerians. It's, uh, we now have Danes under us as well. Another martial perk. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get Soldiers of Less Fortune. It gets us one closer to absolute control. Which is going to improve our taxes a lot. One thing I am worried about. We are 47. Which in Crusader King's term. That's getting quite old now. Lord Alaric has been excommunicated interesting we can ask for claims so what's here we could ask for the high lordship of king's landing from king egon i don't think we're gonna be winning that something so i don't know why guys but someone tells me also he's remarried to uh did you kill your wife he killed his wife targaryen wife and married a greyjoy okay <laughs> we could take the crown lands we can take dragonstone or we could take the storm lands oh but all of them are king egon so king egon was excommunicated but no one is brave enough to stand up to him uh, no one has the resources i know i don't hmm 
It is interesting. Maybe if we were a little bit stronger, but alas, I am not strong enough. We only have 4,000 men, 200 of which are Rainbringers. We could get more men at arms, but we're saving up for Castamere. We've got to play the long game. Got to be patient. You got to know when to attack and when to bide your time. Look at this. The map is bloody huge, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're increasing control and stuff. <laughs> I came all the way down here for this. Five bumps left on that. That should help. I'm outside with Lord Dagon as he suddenly disappears. But before I have time to really worry, he comes bounding back, clutching a small kitten in his hands. Athos, Athos, look what I found. It's a gift for you. Ah, thank you, son. Uh, I gain a pet cat. I gain intrigue and learning. Very nice. Let's see. Let's call him Shadow. What a great name. These are shadowy times. My wife was murdered. And I imagine I am also on the list. Unless it was my son. But I doubt it was my son, actually. It makes no sense if it was my son. Uh, the Reach have taken land over here, so now I don't feel so bad about taking land from Dawn. I'm not the only one committing the Border Gore. And to be honest, I've never really cared for Border Gore. Who cares? Who cares? Care for the story. Though I will surely see many battlefields before I meet my maker, my library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I have recently acquired a tome on the Valiant Battle of the Seven Stars, as well as a time-worn scroll written in some ancient language. Who knows what forgotten secrets it holds? Studied an old battle again, plus one martial. Ooh. This could be good. Attempt to translate the old scroll. Yes. We will translate it and gain even more bonuses. Even with the help of a dusty glossary, the scroll is reluctant to share its secrets, but I press on. As the night progresses, the most incredible story unfolds before me. In the Battle of Lengmar, the Emperor Jaha defeated the native Lengi def uh, definitively and incorporated the island of Leng into the Golden Empire for the next six millennia. Uh, in the battle, he effectively outmaneuvered his enemies, trapping them between his army and the navy on the coast. The battle completely destroyed the Lengi forced for last man. We could study the battle. So we get martial learning, battle roll, very nice. And crosses rivers without penalties. Or we'll focus on translation, 200 light. Now let's study the battle. That's some huge buffs. Absolutely huge. Ah, oh, we could take the Stormlands. It's fine though, we want the Westerlands. We want the Westerlands. How strong are the Lannisters? They're not that strong. Uh, in fact, there are factions being raised against the Lannisters um, as well. It's only a Liberty faction, though. I could create a Claimant faction, but we're just replacing one Lannister with another. What we could also do is do some late-life uh, murdering of Lannisters. We could murder Lord Crest on here before he has any more kids. It's only a 5% chance, though. That's not very good. Yeah, I'm not really an intrigue character. Um, 44 living members. Jamie is still alive? Bloody hell. Uh, Lord Damien of Lands Hall. We could murder him. 19% chance. Yeah, we're not an entry character. We will get to murdering Lannisters, but when we get the right character, guys. Uh, right now, it makes a little sense. Same with the Iron Islands. It makes no sense to take the Iron Islands at the moment. We're not strong enough. Um, and we don't have claims. We could fabricate some claims, but it's going to cost us gold. And right now, I, I don't think there's any reason to fabricate. My son, Stefan, has been invited to a gathering of peers by Lady Jocosta. Sure. Oh, well, go ahead, my son. Have fun, socialize, make new friends. Hopefully, I can make gold while you are gone. Task finished. We have increased the control in Starfall. Very nice. Okay. Um, now we can increase the control elsewhere. We could go for Astamine, because we know Astamine has a bit of gold income floating about. Uh, a grand tournament or a hunt. We're going to ignore the grand tournaments. Where is the hunt? Uh, it's in... I'm going to ignore this one as well. Let's not... We're not going to bother. We're going to go on speed five. Because I want the gold. I want it all. And hopefully maybe we'll, we'll get some good claims pop up or something like this. Or we could go on another taxation tour. Now that we have more vassals. How the hell are we getting down here though? Uh, <laughs> um, I don't think we are. Right. How much is uh, this taxation tour going to cost us? Um, if we go down here, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Right. So we're going to go to these three, of course. My son is included there. We're going to visit Craig Hall because I know they've got gold. Uh, we're traveling on the land. And then we're going to go down to Starfall. We're really going to walk this, huh? All the way down here. I mean, there are... 
Oh. I mean, we have a lot of vassals down here that need taxing. That they do. That they do. There we go. We can get all of these. This is going to be a long taxation tour. Um, we'll increase control here. That's going to cost us 135. So as for this, we, we don't need this. We'll have just a small entourage. But as for luxuries, max it out. And then we're going to go for, for justice. To increase control everywhere in the lands. I think that's good. We need a new caravan master. Let's see. One with good travel speed. Oh dear. We don't have very good caravan masters suddenly, do we? Okay, let's do this. There's a lot of danger as well. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hire some mercenary guards. Uh, and that should help with the dangers of the realm. Right. Now we can also... Yeah, we are getting this on the way back. Okay. Um, High garden is here. We won't worry about it too much. Just because it's already such a long journey anyway. Um, this is going to take a while. Right, let's start the grand tour. I won't read all of the pop-ups. <laughs> that could take a while. Restore accolades decision. Do I not have my, my accolades? Inactive accolades. Okay, these are ones we inherited. Right, let's destroy these. I will destroy these. We don't care for these accolades. We only have my knights. And now... Our great tax tour starts. We start with 1146. Let's see how much gold we will have when we return home. The time has come to depart for my grand tour of Tarish. Our court is packed, ready and raring to go. Our first stop will be my best friend, Lord Rolf's castle over in Seven Points. I look forward to helping the people contribute to the nation's wealth by any means available. The High Lordship of Tarish's subject should certainly not have any surplus hidden from the crown after this tour is concluded. I cannot wait. And now all of these pop-ups... Uh, probably won't read <laughs> it's gonna take a while let's get to it luckily my friend has greeted me with open arms here that should make the the tax tour very successful um we also need to keep an eye on stuff here lady janessa has been excommunicated okay just so we don't miss anything like last time what is this a prowess challenge i gained prestige and dynasty reign gains 50 renown yes and i am brave so it makes sense it should be easy. Excellent stuff. Renown and prestige is ours. We haven't gained any dynasty legacies yet, by the way, guys. I have noticed this. Uh, my child, Stefan, is now of an age to squire from the phrase. Do you know what? I would say yes, sure. Sure, child has returned from a peer's meet as well. Uh, things are going smoothly. 11 gold. Thank you very much. The temptation is too great. Lady Jane, I am chaste, though. I will not soil myself in such filth. What's this? You want to join me at court? He serves the old gods. He's a maester. And he is weak, though. Hmm. One should never speak out of turn. He's interrupting me and my uh, Rolf. By the looks of things. Look at that. Nine income now. Oh, it's beautiful. Tax the Lord. 20 gold. We come here for taxes. It's time for tribute, my friend. There we go. He gave me the taxes. On to the next one. My son. Lord Dagon. I've come to tax you, my child. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the responsibilities of controlling land in my names. Um, Lord Dagon of Midvale gains 15 opinion of me. And I lose a little bit of stress and I gain prestige. Very well. We will need prestige for wars. Uh, we got the prowess challenge again. See, a lot of these... Are, oh, I lost. But I gained prestige and renown. I lost opinion of my son. He is not the, a great leader that I thought he was. He is struggling. He is struggling. There we go, we got the same event again. Wow, we got exactly the same as well. Am I fighting my son or something? <laughs> and my rival, Lord Gerald Darkstar, the Dane, has perished. He succumbed to fatal apoplexy whilst hunting wildlings. Not one day too soon, that's what you get when you are a cannibal. Time for a hunt. Let's see, your grand tour becomes more avaricious. Locals get terrorized, though. It is what it is. Lord Dagon of Midvale is impressed. <laughs> um, it's only fair to share this with my lord. Take everything. 100 gold. I'm sorry, my son. But and now you must pay tribute as well. <laughs> uh, do excuse me for clicking through these a bit, guys. But I'm sure uh, you don't want me reading through this whole tour. Uh, we should get a lot of gold from this as well. We probably not 1,500. But, you know, a fair few hundred. Maybe we can restore Castamere soon. And the events are the same every time, look. 
Um, it's always the same events, so... Uh, let's see, noble tutoring? Sure. More experience. Uh, there we go. Uh, the thing is, when it's always the same events, it's... It gets a little bit tedious. We don't need it. My lord, a raven from King's Landing. A letter marked with the seal of House Targaryen has arrived. Ravens spread grievous tidings all across the realm. The messenger gives you a quick bow and hands me a letter to pursue. King Aegon died from his wounds. May he risk repose in peace. According to the Lords of Inheritance, Rhaegar Targaryen has been proclaimed the rightful successor to the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne. While some mourn the passing of his grace, word has it... Uh, what has it that some have begun to voice their discontent from the public eye? Before resuming my tasks, I wonder for a brief moment, what shall his will bring? King Aegon died from his wounds. King Rhaegar Wildfire of the Iron Throne has now succeeded him. Oh, let's pause this a second. Let's zoom out. He is married to King, uh, to Queen Rayla, the Smoldering Flame, his sister. Oh dear. Oh dear. What the hell happened? Okay, this is interesting. We'll see if there's any um, chaos happening. But uh, we're, we're going back to our grand tour. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got something to do. We gave 40 gold. Um, lose 75 gold. Let's give 40 gold. We get a little bit of stress, but not because it's against our trade. So that's fine. Uh, and we shall continue. 1500. To the fort for Athos, I call you to honor our alliance and join me in the Wentway claim on the Lordship of Leden. Oh, 3000 soldiers. Oh, dear. Uh, 200 crossbowmen, 240 longbowmen, and you got some trebuchets. If I decline this, ah, oh, it's very bad. Um, okay, let's pause a second. Let's pause. Your heir is my nephew. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense because you're my sister, yes. Um, where is this war taking place? Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay, so our grand tour should be fine. I don't think it will cancel it. I will accept, but um, I can manage things from here. I will continue the grand tour. However, I will not betray my, my allies here. I will raise the men and send them over to Ventwe. Um, we are allies and therefore I will honor that alliance. They have helped me many times. Gilroy, I trust you to lead the men in my absence. Oh, what about you though? Actually, Lord K of the Elbow. You will lead the men in my absence. Take them to Rentway. And help my ally in any way you can. We're going to lose a little bit of gold income, but that's fine. Uh, it's time for tribute, my friend. Give me the gold. There we go. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, never speak out of turn. Oh, my God. There's so much pop-ups now. Um, I was looking forward to that. Well, let, let, let's close this. The armies are marching now. Okay. Uh, an imposing moon is standing on the road ahead of us. Ah, so have we reached the time now where we are traveling all the way? Oh, no, we're traveling to Krakow. Okay, I will read these. I am Garen of Biltmore. I bested dozens of men in combat. And honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road looking for someone better than me. Someone I can learn from. If you can best me in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. He is slow. This should be easy. <laughs> you might be less valuable after I win. I have won the fight. I'm too strong. Aaron, the local captain, and a few of his officers greet me as my entourage enter the military camps of Biltmore. Um, as he wanders off, I quickly dismantle and follow him. A couple of paces forwards, Aaron stops and turns to the latest siege equipment, which is neatly placed in rows before me. Quite a sight, isn't it? I am not. Appreciating the organized chaos I am observing. Now, what would my lord want to do next? Aaron looks at me expectantly. Uh, do you know, I wouldn't mind some sparring. I'll, I'll gain martial, I'll gain prestige. Uh, very nice. The massive chopping block in the middle of the logging camp of Blind Oak has seen much use. It looks like it's always been there, even before man walked this earth. My shoulders are tense and my forearm trembles slightly from built-up stress as I approach the magnificent wooden trunk. I carefully place a piece of discarded timber at the podium and in one swift motion I raise my axe. <gasps> 6% chance I become one-legged. Oh, but I'm brave. I'm brave. Oh dear. Saw muscles for five years. Hurrah! Oh, stress decreased. <laughs> we are not becoming one-legged. All is good. All is good. Uh, we approach a hamlet where a forlorn woman stands shackled on the gallows. A throng gathering at its foot. Lord, it's the Lord. The peasant stumbles for the crowd cry. Please, my wife is innocent. These fiends put their sins at others' feet. They pull him away, wailing. No, Shara. As he is dragged down the street, the officials bow sheepishly. Sorry, my lord. Ignore him. The woman is guilty. Do not worry about it. 
Um, do you know what? I am here to pardon her and him. They will join my court and I gain strong hooks on them. Shadow of a troublemaker. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not giving you gold. Wait, wait, where am I on the map? Oh, we've skipped through this. We get turned away or something? Huh? Huh? Something broken? Um, I don't really know. Right, my armies uh, have to go through here. Oh, dear. I'm uh, not quite sure what's happening. All right, let's get to it. We were tour the grounds. Hmm. Sure. Sure. Uh, no one loses opinion on me that way. And we've gained a martial perk as well. 1700 gold. Oh, it's getting close. Absolute control. So that gives us more taxes and levies. Very nice. This will be very, uh, very, very useful. To whom it may concern, sir, uh, concern, I have enclosed the incriminating documents. Let me reiterate, but you are not to speak of this to anyone, not even my liege, Lord Creston. Is where that these exist, and it must stay that way. You learn of Lord Creston's lover secret. Oh. I wish. I wish. Oh, I could blackmail him for a hook. Oh, I could expose it. I'm going to expose it. Let's cause some chaos. <laughs> For the Lannisters. <laughs> uh, tax the lady. Yes. I need my gold. Oh, bloody hell. There's so many bloody pop-ups, isn't there? Uh, we're trying to look at the war as well, because we're going over here. Hopefully, House Wentway help us. Um, what I should do is actually meet up with them and just attach myself to them, to that army until the war ends, I feel like. Um, bribed to look the other way. 50 gold. Very nice. Oh, imagine we gain enough. We might gain enough here. Mm, have to be slain and get me another but i'm humble no everyone makes mistakes do not worry lady lareza of house dane we could be friends you and i the impressive defensive structures at the peak of the star crossing forecast is forest is quite something as i wander along the outer perimeter i notice a peculiar person in the distance she appears to be mumbling to herself all the while stopping to crouch and collect what appears to be herbs of various kinds. It's almost as if she is talking to the herbs. I approach her carefully and she looks up. Various herbs displayed in her palm. I notice a spark of curiosity behind her eyes proposing an unspoken question. Ah. Uh, this is a waste of my time. I have come to collect gold, not herbs. <laughs> now let's begin the taxation tour. Uh, okay, right. Uh, yeah, you're sieging, right? I'm gonna link up to your army and you can guide us. Then I don't have to watch this. Um, oh dear. There is a food thief. I failed to find them. I gained stress. Oh dear. We go close closer to forming uh, a friendship, though, with one of our vassals. That's useful. That's all useful. High crown authority from my liege there. Right, let's go ahead and link the army. There we go. Um, you guys are in charge of this war. I'm going back to my grand tour. Wait, we gotta make gold. We gotta make money. And there we go. We made a friend with my vassal. Ah, she grows closer to forming a hook on me. I don't want that though. Oh, we need to change the contracts of all our new vassals. Also, look at this. Two thousand gold. Oh boy, <laughs> that's a lot of gold. Um, it is time for tribute. I need even more gold. Um. You got a strong hook on Maris? Your vassal could be greatly offended, though. I would just make conversation. How about this? I uh, look forward to seeing that. The next phase was skipped. Oh, dear. So did they refuse me or something? Possibly. Um, Lose 80 gold. Ignore War Widow for 25 years. Uh, Lordship of Starfall gets development growth and popular opinion reduction. Whoa, what happened? <gasps> what happened? My brother, my father, my husband all died in war. A peasant is screaming at me across the village square. When you commanded and won the battle of Aylmore against the Lord Titus of Orchard Way. It was a victory for you, but for me it was the day three generations of my family died. Her anger had turned to tears and the words she spoke next barely reached my ears. You're no lord of mine. <gasps> oh dear, 80 gold. It was a sacrifice I was willing to make. Your, your father, your brother. Your grandfather, they chose to stand against me. Take it as a warning. Those who oppose me face certain death. I am here for one reason only. Do not get in the way of my goals. I am here for Castamere. 
I was looking forward to it. Oh, we keep skipping these. Are people just refusing me? I need to read that when it pops up next time. Um, right. I was about to do something and now I completely forgot. Um, are we doing okay over here? I think so. We've started the next one though. We're not going to hit 3k today, but that that's okay. It's okay. At least not from the Grand Tour. But we, we're going to make a lot of money, that's for sure. Um, we should survey these lands. 40 gold. Yes. Ah, I was going to change contracts. Let's do it when the Grand Tour ends. New Septon endorses me. Very nice. 100 opinion. Oh, a window tax. Window tax it is. <laughs> and my son Dagon has come to an end. Let us pause the game. My news reaches to me that my son Lord Dagon has been made a knight. He has made House Vickery very proud. Look at that. 15 Marshal. 16 Prowess. He's a skilled tactician. I feel like Dagon will serve me well. Uh, he can also marry now as well. He's going to marry Eleanor Merriweather. Her children will be very strong. Um, excellent news there. We got so many alliances. Um, my other son, though, still hasn't married Eleanor. Which is a little bit annoying. She's 20. So, hopefully... I mean, how old am I? 50? Maybe that's something we can fix when we pass. But, yeah, I need to remember... Um, as long as this... Castamere's classed as a ruin. Don't give it to your heir because they can't marry. They can't do nothing. They can't serve on your council. It's all a really, um, a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Lack of a better way to put it. Uh, Giroi has finished increasing control. Okay. All right, let's pause this. We need to increase. Let's increase control on the field of glass. Why not? We need to get these taxes up as much as possible. What's this? I will show him how it's done. He can gain opinion of me. There we go. I've won the sparring match. And it is time for tribute, my vassal. Uh, I am the better hunter. Okay, that's a, a normal event, right? Uh, we have one more grand tour to do, or have we finished? Was that the last one? That might be the last one. My procession continues down our planned route to Astamine, when suddenly we come to an abrupt stop on Josmin's command. Stop, you fools! It is said that this road is infested with bandits and scoundrels of low character. We must divert. The route he proposes is longer, but he assures me it is safer. Ooh. Do you know what, though? We must deliver justice to these lowlifes. We must fight the bandits. The bandits have us routed, oh dear. Uh, and my knight here has become wounded. I am not wounded anymore, though. And look at that. Okay, we last stop. Hopefully we get a lot of gold. <laughs> Do my guy. I want to spend it all. Ah. I hate saving gold. I second it. Thanks the Lord. He's only a little baby. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so much. I never have this much gold. Oh, watch me get imprisoned and lose it all. That would be bloody terrible. Uh, a commoner of Riverlander heritage has been accosted in the streets of Boronin over some minor offense. By making a statement in their defense, I could perhaps convince my vassal, Lord Arwen, the equally Riverlander on my good character, but I must, might risk alienating my Westerman peers. No. Westerman. Oh, superior moral fiber. We have 2,000 prestige. We could wage a mega war. A mega, mega war. And not a, not an actual mega war. Um, like this. Oh, 100 gold. Nice. Um, but like, uh, we could call all of our allies in easily. And there we go. The last stop. 2.3k. I think we earned over 1,000 gold. We spent 260, though, to fund it. Um, so let's not forget that. We shall return home. And reap our bounty. After a long day of travel, the horizon starts to bleed into warm colours. I take a moment to pause, close my eyes and breathe. Careful, the caravan leader Josman screams, pointing at the forest. Beyond the path we follow. What looks like a small rodent is running into the world, and after it, a black figure I easily recognise. Shadow! Oh dear. I will personally find you, Shadow. Do not worry. It doesn't take much to track the growling and broken twigs down to their origin. Shadow sits over a leaf litter, licking his black paws. On the blood of his victim. The squirrel is almost unrecognizable right next to him. <laughs> uh, I get an adventurous pet for two years. <laughs> I knew you'd be successful, Shadow. Well done. What a pet. Oh, I need to do wet nurse. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we have anyone? You're average. Arwen, you're going to become a wet nurse. Aren't you also my cordsmith as well? We could take sandstone. We have land in the dawn now, so it could be possible. We want a victory as well. We just want a victory. So we are winning this war. And there we go. We have returned home. Let's lower the game speed now. The control level has increased everywhere. 
I get Magnificent Liege for 20 years plus 20% vassal tax contribution. Oh, oh, I forgot about that bonus. 600 prestige. 150 renown. And every vassal has gained 30 opinion of me. Everyone is liking me. Let us finish the grand tour. We also get all of these bonuses as well. What a grand tour that was. Bloody marvelous. But now... Now, lads. It is time for us to lead my men. Let us lead our men. Uh, and do, uh, do some fighting over here. Do you have any... Oh, you have a lot of men at arms. Okay, let's fight these guys. I can't we not just siege this. Do you know what? I'm going to take back this castle. Um, Your castle's been sieged. A shadow approaches me of yet another dead rat. I can do nothing but praise him. The castle's never been this free of Roldans before. I get rat free for five years. A huge health boost. Oh, nice. How long to take back this? Only three months yet. Let's take back this. Uh, it should gain us a little bit of war score. And uh, we're going to help my ally win this war. Uh, hopefully, yeah, you guys run away. So we got 30 months here. We got 50 days here. We got 50 days here. I need some siege equipment. I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of gold on siege equipment. But the truth is now... We're only 600 gold away from restoring Castamir. So now is not the time to be spending gold. The Liberty Faction targeting me is disbanded. My vassals are liking me. 71% war score. Let us continue. Oh, what's this? Oh, Summer Hall. Oh, that's where Summer Hall is. Oh, that's cool. Oh, by the way, guys, did you see the screenshots of the new old town as well? It looks bloody amazing. Oh, they're doing some amazing things. I'm going to need like a NASA computer soon, I feel like, <laughs> to keep up with all of it. But bloody hell, I love this. Uh, there's so many great mods at the moment for, uh, for Crusader Kings. I want to play them all, but I don't have enough time. Uh, a servant approached me with a guilty expression on his face and something hidden behind his back. My lord, I was cleaning your artifacts. Collection as usual when I noticed the state of the utter despair of your favor of a lady. It's completely useless and unrecognizable now. You might as well sell it to a scrap collector and make some gold coins out of it. Do you know what? Yeah, sure. These don't last long anyway, the favors. So I will sell it for 50 gold. Um, Constantly restoring this, I don't think it's going to be worth it. I've run out of tea. I'm drinking from an empty cup. The, the tax tour stressful guide. Guys, making gold is a tough life. Tough life indeed. Oh, I can't wait. Maybe my son will no longer be a warden as well. Oh, oh it's going to be so good. Oh, plus 5% monthly renown as well. We're getting close. We're getting so close. So, so close. Right, let's go back over here, though. We got to finish the war and help my ally. We got to help him. <clears throat> 20 days left on this siege. 97% war score. This should actually end the war. Uh, if, if the battle doesn't, at least we get two gold from this. Yeah, there we go. Right, I'm gonna get ready to disband. We took a prisoner, though. We can ransom him. Let's quickly ransom him before he gets released. And um, we'll go back to friendly territory so we can disband. Oh, we can disband anyway. Right, disband the men. 9.5 gold income. Let's check the dungeons just in case. Uh, nothing here. I think the Lannister child finally died or something. I'm, I'm not sure what happened there. But sadly, guys, that is all I have time for today. We now have 2.5k, another 500 gold. And Castamir will be restored. How many years does it take to build? 12 years. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. So it might still be a few episodes after that as well. But our patience is paying off. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you next time.